Hello. Alan and Art Seidel's family has been dressing Seattle for more than a century, from teams and clubs to all 1,000 employees of the 1962 World's Fair. Hemming all those pants and sewing the emblems on. That wasn't even the first World's Fair the family outfitted. Art and Alan's great uncle Lou was a tailor for the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition of 1909. Imperial tailoring. He was assisted by his younger brother, Archie, who became a skilled salesman. He would uh, get clients off the street, bring them in, lay them down on a, part, uh, on a piece of parchment, draw out their outline, and measure them. And a week later, for $17, you could have a suit with two pair of pants. 75 years ago, Archie opened a men's clothing store in downtown Seattle with his son, Don. They would run Don's Men's Shop and its successor for the rest of their lives. There was a lot going on in Seattle with clothing and, and style. Archie knew how to keep the party going. You know, a glass of scotch with your pressing. The Seidels dressed the rich and famous like Hollywood icon Sammy Davis Jr. When Sammy was performing up in Seattle, he walked in off the street, visited my dad, liked the clothes, liked my grandfather and my dad, and enjoyed that company and started a friendship with him. In the late 50s, Don saw that local college teams could use a sartorial upgrade for their road trips. They never dressed up. You dub rowers? They outfitted them in blazers. The Rose Bowl bound Husky football team? They put them in blazers. And from there, this little family business invented the practice of sports teams going formal when they go on the road. A group of 80 or 90 players and put them all in coats and pants, that was more uh, lucrative than selling one suit at a time in a store. They dressed hydro racers and the Seahawks. And dad put uh, sideline pants on the coaching staff all the way from Jack Patera era up till Mike Holmgren. Every coach, every staff, all those years. Now located in Georgetown, Don's Group Attire specializes in workplace uniforms and custom embroidery. Streetcar operators, cruise ship staff, and donut makers all wear the company's product. It's family businesses, large corporations. Don Seidel passed away a few years ago, but his sons continue to stitch the fabric of their father's local legacy. My dad was a civic-minded business person. He cared about Seattle as a, as a community. That was something he was pretty proud of.